history informs us that the Samaritan uh, people or group appeared only around the time of the destruction of the first temple. Um, then who was the Samiri who is mentioned in the Quran as a contemporary of Moses? Was there any link between him and the Samaritans? You see, Samari was uh, that person who led the rebellion against Hazrat Moses. And he is mentioned in the Holy Quran in a very uh, special way. And uh, I'll explain that a little bit. Samari thought that Hazrat Musa والسلام, was a false prophet. And uh, he only used grand language to impress the people. So he followed him a little bit only. Only in things which he thought were uh, impressing upon the people, impressive for the people. But he did not understand the spirit of prophethood at all. So he is the one who first led the people away to back to idolatry by collecting their money, all the, they were, the gold, etc. they were carrying and melting it into a calf and through a trick by employing some uh, voice breaking sound a click or spring he made the voice as if the cow was alive. So it used to make bo wo sound without any meaning. And that was his concept of prophethood. So he misled people back to idolatry. And uh, how much uh, gold he acquired for himself, Allah knows better. But some of it he used for, for that, making that uh, we call Bachra in Punjab, in Urdu, calf, calf in English. So he made that calf out of this and said, this is your God. And Moses has gone away to meet some God, but we don't know. When Hazrat Moses returned, he was so angry with his people. He said, I have gone away only for 40 days and you have returned back to idolatry from which I saved you out. So he was so angry that uh, the tablets on which some revelations were written, some old revelations, he threw them on the ground and they broke. He was so angry with somebody. And uh, the Holy Quran speaks of somebody's punishment as he would say, La Misasa, don't touch me. He was outcast, completely outcast. And I understand that he was also uh, uh, blemished with leprosy, leprosy. Because ever since, this is the tradition in the West, that whenever a leper moved around, at every corner, he used to ring the bells and uh, tell them that keep away from me. So people who could not see him because of the turn of the road, they heard the bell and his voice, keep away from me, keep away from me. So this was the punishment dealt out to somebody. And that punishment, punishment is still seen in this tradition.